Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a foundation review. Over the past few days I've been trying out this foundation. The foundation I'm talking about is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Apparently this is a new and improved formula. They used to actually have this foundation but I never tried it when they used to have it. They discontinued it and now they brought it back and it's supposed to be a better formula. So unfortunately I don't have the old formula to compare it to. So everything is just based off of my opinions and thoughts on the new and improved foundation, but I was so excited to see that Maybelline was coming out with another foundation or a new improved version because I love Maybelline foundations. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless is fabulous and I also love Maybelline concealers as well. Um, as far as complexion products go, I feel like Maybelline usually hits the nail on the head and they usually have really great products. So I was super excited to try this out. Before we get into the review video, please make sure to join the family by hitting the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed and you want to be notified every time I post a video, just be sure to click on the little bell and join the notification squad so you'll be notified each time I post a video. Also you guys there's only a couple days left to enter my 100,000 subscriber giveaway so if you have not already be sure to check out the link in the description box. I have so many fun makeup items that I'm giving away. There are two winners and it's international so be sure to check that out if you have not already and with that being said let's get into the video. So before we go into the first day that I tried it and my first impressions upon application I realized I forgot to mention a couple things so I wanted to let you guys know the price of this and also how many shades are in the range. All right, so this retails for $11.99 on Ulta.com. I picked mine up on Amazon for about $10, so I guess it just depends on what retailer you go to, but it's around $10 to $12. And it looks like it comes in 16 shades. The shade that I picked up is 112 Natural Ivory. So I just wanted to mention those couple things. And now we will move into my first day with this product and my first impressions upon application. And then I will show you guys the before and afters over a couple of days. And then I will have my final thoughts at the end of the video. So let's get into it. This literally just came in the mail like an hour ago. I ordered it on Amazon so it came in two days thanks to Prime. I love Amazon Prime. By the way if you hear something in the background I am doing laundry. Today is a super chill day. I'm in my black t-shirt. My hair's up. I'm just trying to catch up on some chores and clean up a little bit. So please excuse the outfit and the hair. <laughs> it's just one of those days but I thought I might as well make use of the day and do a foundation review especially since this arrived. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be trying out the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. This is supposed to last up to 24 hours. There's one fluid ounce in here. The shade that I got was 112 Natural Ivory. I ordered it on Amazon again, so I hope that this matches me. It seemed like it was gonna be a good match. So let me just read you some of the things that it claims to do. So it's a full coverage foundation, up to 24 hours of wear, a seamless matte finish, it's breathable and comfortable, it's fade and transfer resistant. Hmm. It's oil free and oil free. <laughs> it's oil free and doesn't clog pores and it's dermatologist tested. All right, Maybelline. The first thing that I have to say about this, which I'm so excited about, it has a pump. I'm so happy about that. Let me show you this up close. So here's the packaging. It's a really sleek white cap with a really nice glass bottle. Again, the white pump, which I'm so thrilled about. Thank you so much, Maybelline, because the Maybelline Fit Me does not have a pump and I really feel like I waste so much product with that. So I'm so glad there's a pump with this. So let's get right into it. I didn't prime the skin with anything, but I do have a moisturizer on. I just barely washed my face and did my normal skincare routine, and so I just have a moisturizer on, but it kind of sunk into the skin. So I feel like my skin is really prepped and ready for this foundation. So I'm going to start with one pump on the back of my hand. Ooh, this shade looks like it's going to work. I hope it does. I'm gonna try it out with a brush on one side and a blender, a beauty blender, <laughs> not a blender, a brush on one side and a beauty blender on the other side. Okay, again, so excited. Ooh, as I'm spreading this out on my hand, it feels super smooth. I'm just going to dot it around and since it's full coverage let's see how much this does so I'm just going to take my brush <gasps> okay it's starting to blend out like butter and the shade yay so excited about the shade I was looking forward to try this foundation as soon as I heard about it just because I love the Maybelline fit me foundation and so I have high hopes for this Let's hope it performs well. Okay, hello. Off of my very, very first impressions on half of my face with a brush. I love the coverage. It feels really lightweight and the finish is perfect. Oh, it's like a seamless matte finish, but it doesn't like dry you out. It's kind of like moussey almost. I'm just going to tap a little bit more on the areas that I want more coverage and blend down the neck. So again, I did one pump on half of my face. Look at that coverage. I mean, like, look. I hope that this is a long wearing foundation because 
Seriously, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is so beautiful on the skin. All right, so let's try the other side of the face. I'm gonna do one more pump. The texture is so crazy. I'm so happy about the finish and the shade. I'm glad that it matches me. I have a feeling if this works out for me, you guys, this could be my new favorite drugstore foundation. I feel like that's kind of a stretch right now since I'm just barely trying it. Let's blend this out with the sponge on this side and see how it works. Guys, look at the coverage on that. Didn't you see the redness and the acne that I had? And I love how it doesn't look super cakey. So my first thoughts about the Beauty Blender side, I actually kind of like how the brush side applied this time. Usually it is Beauty Blender that usually wins, but I don't know what it was. Maybe just the formula. I feel like it worked really beautifully with a brush. The sponge side looks really nice too. Huh? Both sides look really good. I don't know, but I kind of liked the application with the brush better. Typically I apply foundation like with a brush first and then I pat it out with a sponge anyway. So I usually use both. Okay, I'm so impressed by the coverage of this, the finish of this. So far, super good. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup. If I scoot up a little bit, can you guys see a little better? Hopefully it's not too washed out, but that finish is so beautiful. You wouldn't know that I had acne and redness and scars underneath this foundation. I feel like it looks so good. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup really quickly and then I'll be back to do a little check-in and then we will see how this wears throughout the day. Okay, so I just finished my makeup. I didn't do anything crazy because I'm not really going anywhere today and I really wanted to focus on the foundation. So I used a lot of cream products actually, which blended over the foundation beautifully, I felt. The foundation has kind of a powder finish so I only set my under eye concealer and a tiny bit down the center of the face because that's where I tend to get oily but I really left the rest as is I really want to see how this wears throughout the day because it is kind of more of a matte powdery finish off the bat I wonder if it gets a little bit more dewy towards the end of the day or if it stays like this for hours and hours I have to say I'm so in love with the finish right now I really hope that this wears throughout the day well we will see so this is a little bit late for a foundation review to begin just because I did receive it in the mail this afternoon so it is currently 4:43, but I'm just gonna keep doing my chores around the house and I do usually go to bed kind of late so I'm gonna try to wear this as long as I can tonight and then I'll I'll also be wearing it tomorrow so we can kind of get a better idea of how this works. Let's hope that it looks really good and that it lasts a while. Um, I'll check in in a few hours. All right, so I am back. It is currently 11.13 p.m. So I've had this on for around six hours now. I must say, especially from far away, I'm really impressed. If I'm super picky about it and I go really up close, the only thing that I'm noticing is it's getting a little bit of a sheen on the forehead, like, but not like oily, just a really nice glowy sheen. And then my pores are a tiny bit accentuated right around my nose area here which could probably be fixed with like a good primer or a pore filling primer. I'm so impressed at how it stayed on the side of my face because a lot of times throughout the day I touch my face and that's where I have the most redness and acne scarring and so the fact that there's still coverage like full coverage there is really impressive. But yeah if I'm not being nitpicky and I'm just looking from far away I have a really nice natural sheen to my face and I really really like the finish still. One thing that I've noticed that I'm really impressed by as well is around the nose area a lot of times a lot of foundations look really weird by the end of the day around my nose and this one like it doesn't look as fresh as it did when I first applied it obviously but it doesn't look crepey and it didn't crease also around my smile line, I have one smile line right here that creases pretty bad and it's like not even bad at all compared to a lot of foundations that I love and wear. So, so far so good you guys. As always, I love to wear these foundations that I try out for you guys for a few days. So I'm gonna be wearing it again tomorrow and the next day and as many days as possible until I post this video. So I have a really good accurate review for you. So that's the first day, that's my first impressions. I'm gonna try it a little bit different tomorrow and I'll let you guys know, but yeah, so far so good. I have really high hopes for this foundation and the fact that this drugstore makes it that much better. So I will see you all tomorrow for another check-in. All right, you guys, it is day two of me trying out this foundation. It's another like laid back, running errands type of day. This time I set the entire face with translucent powder, but I didn't use a primer, I just used moisturizer. So I'm gonna do another check-in today. It is currently 1.48. I'm gonna be running errands when I go to the grocery store and stuff like that. So I'm gonna try to wear this as long as possible again and then check in with you guys and see what setting the entire face will do by the end of the day. So I will see you later. I already started filming and I realized my mic was off. So that would have been bad, okay. All right, so I'm, I'm back, all right. So it's 8.25, 8.25. I haven't even looked at my face all day long. Um, 
my nose, there's some foundation missing because I made a spicy soup tonight and <laughs> every time I eat spicy food, I love spicy food, but like it makes my nose run, so I was, I wiped my nose. Anyway, let's take a look at the foundation. Um, I'm kind of seeing the same thing that I saw yesterday. There's a really nice sheen. It doesn't look very oily. I mean, I'm kind of, my forehead kind of looks a little bit oily. And today, again, I powdered the entire face, but I honestly, I haven't touched up all day. I ran errands and this is what it looks like. I don't mind it. I feel like it'd be really easy to touch up. The thing I do like about it that I've noticed the past couple of days of wearing it is even though it does kind of develop a dewy finish, it doesn't ever separate on my skin, um, which sometimes if that happens throughout the day, if my skin gets a little oily, sometimes it causes the foundation to break up. So I do like that it doesn't do that and it would be easy just to kind of take a, a blotting sheet or some powder and just kind of dust over the T-zone or wherever you get oily. I don't mind it getting dewy on the outer parts of the face. I think that's really beautiful, but usually like this area, this area, I don't love for it to be shiny but I mean this is a good what six hours of wear so I think that's pretty good nothing's really come off my skin except for around my nose where I touched it but I do already notice and really appreciate that about the foundation so that is the situation for today it's kind of funny I wonder if because it's marketed as a matte foundation and because at the beginning of the day it kind of does feel really matte and really tight I wonder if on my skin, my skin kind of like overproduces oil because it is trying to mattify. That could just be my skin type. I don't know. Um, so I want to kind of try to test it out again with maybe a, a primer that can combat a little bit of oil in the T-zone. But so far, honestly, really liking this foundation. The fact that it's drugstore is that much better. I will do my final check-in tomorrow with you guys and then kind of do an overall review and give you guys my full thoughts on this foundation. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, so I've had the chance to wear this for several days now, and I think I'm ready to give a final review. So, honestly, I really do like this foundation. The fact that it's drugstore makes it that much better. I will say it looks so flawless upon application. It is what I'm wearing right now. The coverage is incredible. If you're into full coverage foundations, I would recommend grabbing this. The only thing that I'm unsure of is if you have dry skin, um, just because some of the areas, if I do have a little bit of dryness, it kind of clings but my skin is not that dry right now, so I really am not able to give a full review as far as dry skin is concerned. That's the only unfortunate thing about doing foundation reviews sometimes is I can only give feedback based off of my skin type. Um, which is normal combination. So sometimes I do have dry patches. Right now I don't really have too many, so I can't really tell you. And then also, like I mentioned I think earlier, for some reason by the end of the day, this foundation looks a little bit dewy on me. And since it's supposed to be a super matte full coverage foundation that kind of like threw me off it's not dewy in a bad way um and sometimes on my skin if i use products that are too mattifying it actually can increase the oil production in my skin because my skin feels so dry and it's like trying to hydrate or rehydrate itself so i found that with some products that are super mattifying that that does happen and so that may be what's happening with me i don't know though if somebody has oily skin and you've tried this new and improved version of this foundation would you please leave a comment down below and let me know if that happens to you on oily skin or if it really does help control the oils because it ends up looking dewy by the end of the day. It didn't look oily though, I guess. I should say that. So it didn't look greasy, it just looked dewy, which I personally don't mind on my skin type, but it was kind of surprising just because when you first apply it, it kind of feels powdery and a little bit heavy and a little bit tight on the skin, at least for me. And then by the end of the day, it was just kind of like more dewy and radiant and kind of had a different finish than when I started. So that's what I've noticed as far as the finish goes. As far as like the wear time, I have not seen it fade away and that's one thing I really do love about this foundation is because a lot of times, especially around like my chin area where I do have blemishes and acne scarring, some foundations by the end of the day can wear off there because um, I do kind of rest my hands on my face, I touch my face a little bit. Um, and this did say it was transfer resistant, which I didn't actually test. Should I test that? Let's take my shirt. Hey! Guys! I'm not like wiping, 
but if you just lean up against something, it didn't come off of my black shirt. So I think it is transfer resistant. That was a fun little test, but um, what was I saying? Oh, a lot of other foundations tend to kind of fade away around my acne scars and this one really didn't. I found that it had full coverage throughout the entire time that I was wearing it. So I really did like that. The only time that it broke up was a little bit around my nose, but overall, I really do like the finish of it. Again, though, I am a super duper fan of full coverage foundations, especially full coverage matte foundations or semi-matte foundations. So if you are too, I would recommend picking this up. Again, that is just based off of my skin type. I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. If you do try it out, please let me know. But I do think I will continue to wear this and keep trying it out in different tutorials and keep trying it out with primers and things. I didn't really notice too much of a difference when I use different kinds of primers as far as how it wore and as far as like how it looked at the end of the day. I will say when I set my entire face it looked a little bit less dewy than it did when I didn't do that but it still like looks dewy whether I powder the entire face or whether I don't do that. So those are my thoughts as far as priming and setting goes. So in a nutshell, I would recommend this foundation. I'm not sure if I would recommend it to people with extremely dry skin, um, just because it is a little bit more of a mattifying powdery finish foundation, which could accentuate some dry patches. If you do have some, I would recommend it. It's drugstore, it's $12 or less, and it's worth a shot. So that's everything in a nutshell. I really do like this foundation on a scale of one to 10. I think I would put it at a seven and a half, maybe. Maybe seven and a half to eight just because it does change finishes on me so that does mean that I would have to kind of powder the t-zone if I wore it all throughout the day to kind of control the oils in that section but other than that I feel like I can really trust it to last all day which I really do like so seven and a half slash eight stars out of ten that's how I feel and it's a great price so thanks again for watching you guys please as always be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts on this foundation if you've tried it also, if you guys have any recommendations for me to try, like other foundations for me to try out and review, please comment those down below because I love to test out foundations so much. It's one of my favorite things to do. Don't forget to enter my 100,000 subscriber giveaway if you haven't already, because it's almost over, so you don't want to miss out. I think that's everything. I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.